This scooter has a detachable battery, offers 50 km range, super smooth riding experience and price, which beats most other city-grade electric scooters. Good enough for you? One way to find out, let's inspect! So, welcome, nice to see you again, I'm Michael and here on the channel we inspect a lot of fresh and cool tech and this is a new scooter coming from the company Turbo Ant which are famous for uh, manufacturing at least these X-Series famous for their removable batteries and it's the second Turbo Ant scooter I have the pleasure to try out this year after I've reviewed the V8 so X7 Max I think it's more about being comfortable highly portable because uh, these handlebars here are removable and I think you're going to like the price really a lot especially given the specification pack our task today is to figure out whether this really is a worthy choice Turbo Ant X7 Max launches at the awesome price of $460 make sure to check the deal about it before it's gone and I'm linking one in the description right below the video as far as the website shows, the retail price should be around 600 bucks, putting it close to the likes of Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro and 9Bot Max, but still having the edge being budget-friendlier. So, although this is not among the most affordable scooters you can think of, it is definitely a solid choice in its niche, especially if the performance turns out to be good. Therefore, our thorough inspection continues with the unboxing. Together with the package, it weighs around 20 kilos, so taking it out and doing the initial setup is rather easy. What you may immediately notice is how high the base is placed. Clearance to the ground is maybe the best that I've seen from all the scooters that I've tested recently, mostly due to the battery placement. As you may notice, it is detachable from the stem. This feature, besides advantages, comes with certain drawbacks that we're going to cover in a moment. As part of the things that you have to do to set it up, just add the handles. They also happen to be detachable. Check the tire pressure, charge the battery and it's riding ready. Really simple and there's nothing that can easily go wrong. If you're curious to find out more about the specifications, let me help here. A 350 watt brushless motor in the front wheel, maximum speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour, 15 degree climbing capability, 10 inch thematic tires, reliable quick folding mechanism, digital display showing real time speed and information, IPX4 water resistance and weight of 15 and a half kilograms. This is overall a very decent specification package, although it doesn't really show more than the competition, but I think the overall configuration is pretty solid. Uh, there definitely are some weaknesses and strengths, especially if you ride the scooter for a while, you're going to figure that out. But uh, generally, the fact that you can just remove the battery, bring it somewhere, charge it independently from being around the scooter, is a bliss, especially for those people who go to the offices with a scooter and you, you can't simply go this to any random floor. Uh, as for the motor performance and uh, the tires, the way of comfort and riding, I think there's only one way, which is going to show us the true nature of the Turbo Ant X7, so yeah, a bit of riding. So, I'd go for sharing my experience with the motor as a starter. Let me put it like that, it is among the most capable and balanced 350 watt motors I can think of. Maybe slightly less powerful than Miss Scooter 4 Pro, but enough to be great for urban environment and even sometimes light off-road. Turbo Ant don't disclose the maximum torque, I feel like most of the capacity of the motor is present once you accelerate beyond 10 km per hour, it feels best at speeds between 15 and 25 km per hour. This close to stellar performance and the overall riding comfort is backed by the excellent choice for tires. We talk about 10 inches right here, which feel awesome and even without any kind of suspension, I would claim that it offers smoother riding experience than the V8 by Turbo Ant that I've tested like a couple of weeks ago. The slight disappointment about the tires is that they are not tubeless, 
Looks like the new trend is to have sealants in tubeless tires, and this would allow running them at much lower pressure, but I guess we may have to wait for these upgrades till the next generation. On the other hand, Turbo Ants still include a replacement inner tube, just in case. There is no way not to mention the 5.3-inch ground clearance, which gives opportunities to deal with curbs much easier than what it is with other scooters. I'm actually quite impressed with the whole idea about the construction. It's nothing new. Turbo and have almost the same basis with the Pro model. This time it feels a little taller, and it is. They're far more suitable for people with height of up to 200 centimeters. However, having the battery attached to the stem, I need to warn you that walking and pushing the scooter may sometimes be challenging, especially if you're climbing a road or stairs, because having the battery and the motor on the front makes the rear side super lightweight, so lifting the rear wheel in the air unwillingly happens almost all the time. The board is as wide as it was on the Pro model, a bit longer, giving you more space for the feet. The X7 Max model offers 10 ampere hour battery capacity. It also happens to address one of the concerns shared by the community, being detachable. It's easier to steal, so now there's a lock, and you can rest assured that if someone is trying to steal something, that would be perhaps the whole scooter. I find the removable battery being the best feature of Turbo and X7 Max, because you can charge the battery anywhere or buy a spare one for around 200 bucks. The charging times are around 6 hours. If you wonder how far this 360 watt hour battery can bring you, Turbo Ant claim range up to 32 miles, which is close to 50 kilometers. Theoretically, if you keep the scooter in comfort mode, which limits the speed down to 16 kilometers per hour, maybe you can get close to this value. City environment with accelerating more often to the maximum possible speed got me close to 25 kilometers. At the balanced mode, I was able to make around 20 km with 50% battery left, so it looks like the range can be very good if you're not too aggressive with the way you accelerate. It wouldn't have the 9 Max range achievements and also falls behind Xiaomi Scooter 4 Pro's range, but the numbers are good for the size and the weight given. Checking around the handlebar area, this is invaluable, saves so much space in the car trunk, we can see the single brake lever and braking experience is also excellent. Dual braking system, it triggers the motor brake on the front and the rear disc brake. As you can notice, decreasing the speed and stopping in emergency situations is easily doable and reliable, which is very important for dynamic city environments. The display is a nice to have feature, once again hardly visible in daytime and direct sunlight. It shows real-time speed, different gears, cruise control, kind of the usual things that such a display should indicate. There even are some advanced configuration settings where you can enable or disable cruise control, switch from kilometers per hour to miles per hour and so on. Also, you can unlock the speed limit from 25 km per hour to 20 miles per hour. Make sure to do this only if it is allowed in your country, though. If I may quickly go over the improvement suggestions and the ideas now, let me start by saying that while riding the scooter, it felt great. There's no serious remark that I have in terms of design, but to make it stellar, Turbo Ant may think of using tubeless tires, improve the stand because it is now very irritating, think of a little more optimal weight distribution, increase the waterproof rating and add a smartphone app. I'm happy to see though that compared to the Pro model, they have improved the brakes, the safety features and the dimensions. So, yeah, is this a scooter we can easily recommend? I think so. Even if you own the previous generation, the upgrades are worth considering. And if you're looking for your first electric scooter, this could be almost the perfect choice. Uh, it doesn't excel in uh, any of the components, but this removable battery and uh, the detachable handlebars uh, they make it extremely transportation friendly and also very safe. And overall, the riding comfort, the construction, the folding mechanism. There are zero weak points uh, unless you have discovered such by yourself. 
and of course I would love to hear about your opinion so be invited comment section down below the video as usual at the moment of time there also is a discount campaign for the launch of the X7 Max so take a look in the video description for more information as usual it's been such a pleasure to try out a new device and show it to you hopefully covering everything you have been looking for which is for a fantastic day don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you see more cool tech inspections I'm Michael ride safely and wishes for a fantastic day see ya